I'm literally filming this from my bed in Cambridge, hence the ambient Cambridge noise that may or may not be in the background of punts and things outside. But today I wanted to talk to you all about ADHD. If you've been kind of following me um, over the past year, you'll know that in around October 2021, I realised that I might have ADHD, which looking back is crazy how it took me so long to notice that because I don't know, I guess I just never really considered that me constantly forgetting and all these other symptoms, I, I just never made the connection with that and ADHD, which I guess in and of itself is a very ADHD thing to do. I'm currently like one year into my alleged two year waiting list for medication, um, so cool. But something in particular that I've kind of noticed and felt is that ADHD is kind of viewed as a mild neurological condition. And I feel like it's a very, um, I don't know if this is the right word, underestimated uh, type of neurodiversity. I feel like so many times when you see ADHD represented in films or or maybe you're talking about someone with ADHD, it's often just like funny, like, oh, they're always forgetting stuff, they're always daydreaming, they're always dozing off, blah, 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 blah. People don't really realise the severity or the distress that ADHD can cause. And I wanted to raise awareness about this. Um, and also, if anyone else can relate to these things, then hopefully they can also get help and support for ADHD. I feel like not much attention or respect is given to the debilitating and distressing parts of ADHD because although ADHD is like neurodiversity much like autism is it's actually quite different to autism in that a lot of the most distressing parts of ADHD such as being forgetful, losing things, disorganised that can actually be treated with medication Autism, on the other hand, that's not like a disease to be cured or anything. Let's be very clear about that. Autism is something just completely different. They just both happen. ADHD and autism just both happen to be to do with how your brain works. So in the media, ADHD is just viewed as funny, a joke, just not being able to pay attention or squirrel, blah, 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 you know. But for me, ADHD has been really distressing it's been really upsetting i feel like the i feel like the kind of symptoms i get from my adhd kind of just generally make my life worse and more difficult to navigate and a lot more obstacles in the way what i mean is that for example losing things all the time that is genuinely really distressing a lot of people be like oh if you've lost it retrace your steps go back to where you last put it in the adhd brain it's like that thing literally vanishes off the face of the earth i can't just retrace it because i don't remember where that last place i put it was and just constantly seeing your keys vanish like literally just imagine like you're holding your keys and then they vanish that is literally what it's like and constantly having that with important items like your keys your phone your shoes is actually really distressing when you just cannot remember where they've gone and not being able to pay attention for example often played for laughs that is in media but it's so so difficult for me when I actually have to focus I've had so many times where I have broke down and cried over not being able to focus over whether it was my schoolwork or with my job now being sat in meetings and trying to nod and look engaged all the time trying to look and mask as like a neurotypical person who finds this sort of stuff easy and I'm finding it incredibly difficult and draining to keep that focus as much as I possibly can and not being able to focus on schoolwork or university work that obviously has had such far-reaching effects for me that has made so many things a lot more difficult I feel like academically I haven't reached my full potential because of not being able to focus 
on work and I never realised it might be ADHD, I just thought it was kind of a personality trait I guess and the thing is with neurodiversity a lot of things blur the line uh, between oh is this my neurodiverse brain or is it just my personality but this was definitely in hindsight ADHD. Another thing is that so many kind of tips and tricks for staying organised online are unintentionally kind of fine to do for neurotypical people like neurotypical people can be like oh so I need to make a little spreadsheet of my day and put it into blocks and just follow those blocks that's that's fine and then this neurotypical person is then just organized apparently <laughs> and yet I don't try to do that so many times like often when you are getting any kind of support at school or when they're giving you exam tips it will be something like oh structure your day take breaks every 25 minutes these things are like impossible to do I have never ever been able to stick to a timetable that I've made for myself I've never kind of been able to do the Pomodoro technique which is that 25 minutes and five minutes off for a break because for me that five minutes instantly turns into like an hour two hours and time blindness that is called it's a really other real kind of problem in that before I know it 20 minutes have gone an hour's gone two hours the whole day's gone in the blink of an eye and none of this is really spoken about for people with ADHD how upsetting and distressing it can be to not remember important dates to not remember important information things to literally constantly be vanishing and then you'll find it somewhere else to not be able to stay organized and these might not sound that serious when you just say it like that but I just cannot emphasize how distressing it is and it's not AD and ADHD isn't just some funny haha <laughs> oh what are they like it's, and ADHD isn't just some kind of funny cute um neurodiverse thing it's not it's and ADHD isn't just some funny cute kind of thing it's genuinely really distressing and I don't know the statistics exactly but I wouldn't be surprised if there's higher incidence of things like depression and anxiety in people with ADHD because not just constantly never being able to be on top of things <laughs> it can really take its toll on you the point of this video isn't just to complain about ADHD I actually want to kind of emphasize how distressing it is as a condition to emphasize the need for support for people with ADHD and particularly I want to make it known to kind of caregivers and teachers for example at school where they can spot the signs of ADHD in a child early so they can get that support and they sh I don't want children with ADHD to have to go through things that I went through for 20 years thinking oh why am I like this why is my life so hard and I'm just a mess and I screw up everything I don't want anyone else to feel like that and to me that's why this is so important to raise awareness of not just ADHD symptoms but how much it can impact your life and I think because a lot of people think that ADHD is just kind of a mild condition like oh I'm so ADHD I think that plays a big part in why people don't take action when they see someone with the symptoms I don't know if symptoms is the right word by the way I'm just like I'm speaking from the heart here <laughs> but I, I hope that makes sense I want to just kind of demonstrate how difficult it's been for me living when diagnosed with ADHD and how I didn't have to struggle like if I had for example gone to school it had been picked up I'd been taken to the GP and I'd be put on the medication for it and I'd be treated for it then my life would probably be so different not I am happy with where my life is now but it, wow it would have been so much easier um, and so much upset could have been avoided and it's really something that people with ADHD need support with 
I hope that all makes sense. Um, it's obviously really important to me, knowing personally how difficult it has made life for me and how I wish I had been diagnosed earlier and treated earlier, especially because now being an adult and out of the national healthcare system means that I have to pay for things, I have to go on longer waiting lists. The waiting lists are a lot shorter if you're a child, which is why I am emphasising um, kind of spotting if kids have it especially. My point is just to emphasise um, the recognition that ADHD isn't just something funny um, or mild, it's a uh, can be quite debilitating and really upsetting if you have it um, and I want more people to know that so that uh, people with ADHD can get more support and compassion for their situation. I'll try and pop some links in the, in the description, any useful things that might help uh, so do check that out and if you want to share your own story about ADHD please do in the comments and yeah, thanks for watching.